And in all these, you know, I guess forays, it's been, you know, very, very good to you. And, and you know, you've got best-selling books. Uh, you sell out on stage. Uh, even with your fashion critiquing, while it's very mean in some ways, people it's can't not wait mean. to it's hear not what you have to say. Really? It's not, it's not mean. mean? You can, it's not mean, I tell the truth, I'm sure I say the same things that all your viewers say to their friends sitting next to them on the couch. <laughs> you know, we're one, of, we're one of the few shows that says, that's an ugly dress, and that, that's okay. These ladies make $28 million a picture. You really think that uh, 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 Nicki Minaj cares I didn't like her dress? Uh -huh. You know, when you're in that kind of a bracket, you don't really care. Yeah, you're not Someone really worried like about dress. feelings being hurt. Well, not when it's about dresses. It's not about them. It's about mm -hmm. clothing. Okay. Well, what about when it is about something, you know, that really does seem off limits to a lot of people? I mean, even in your book, you kind of joke about the death of Casey Anthony's baby, Princess Diana surviving so many landmines and who she dated. I mean, do right. you feel like there are boundaries ever, or, you know, even if it Let makes people uncomfortable you. or offend people or what? Life is very tough, and if you can make a joke to make something easier mm -hmm. and funny, do it. Done. Do what it. That's all. Well, yeah. Darlene, I don't know what your life has been like, <laughs> but I have a lot of people who have gone through hell. And if you can make... Winston Churchill said, if you make someone laugh, you give them a little vacation. <laughs> and maybe you take the worst thing in the world and make it funny. It's a vacation from a, for a minute from horror. Yeah, and, and people love to laugh. I mean, clearly oh that's why people love you. But they also know that you, you know, you have some shock value to you. I mean, on the cover well, of your book, you're wearing a fur, and you knew that there would probably be animal rights activists. You know, this whole Peter. interview is becoming a defensive interview. No! Uh, are you wearing leather shoes? Yes! And shut no, up. I'm talking... Oh. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear. You're wearing fur. You're I'm, wearing leather I'm shoes. I'm not an activist. You're, but eating, I'm saying you're eating chicken. Yeah. You're eating meat. I don't want to hear this nonsense. Come to me with a paper belt, and I'll talk to you. <laughs> but you did hear it in some of those press conferences. There were people who were upset, and you're just saying, no. Oh, you know, I'm going. I really am going because <gasps> all you have done is negative. No. All you have done is negative. I haven't heard that. I make people laugh for 50 years. I am put on earth to make people laugh. My book is funny. I wear fur that was killed 15 years ago. I work for animal rights. Stop it with, and you do this, and you're mean, and you're that. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor. Sorry. Are we serious? <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, she was serious. And I thought she was joking the whole time. But in the end, we wondered, was this a stunt? Well, Rivers didn't return to the interview. But off camera, she kept her microphone on as she continued to talk and drop some rather unflattering four-letter words. So, yeah, she was serious.